What would you recommend if somebody's watching right now who feels like they've been exposed to something demonic or has a loved one, they may have a loved one who's manifesting something that seems demonic, what would your advice be? Well, love them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. You know, I mean, it just sounds silly, but it's 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 really so powerful. So, so loving the person, receiving them, helping them to enter into it. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. So, it's the human heart, and it's the human person. There's nothing to be afraid of. I I I push against what I call the Ebola approach to demons, which is that they're like some strange creature that comes out of Africa or so, some <laughs> strange country that if you're exposed to them, you're probably going to die by bleeding out or right, something. Right, right. Like, it's just so ridiculous. That's not what the Catholic Church teaches. It's not what we believe. So uh, just loving the person, accompanying them, helping them to open it up, to share the pain. And and if you are, you know, not everybody is equally equipped for that, well, f- find somebody that they can talk to. And and certainly as, uh, you know, so the our, our diocese, I, I help with our diocese in these kinds of cases. And and we bring people to start talking about these things. I, I work with somebody who, who receives the person, and we help them to start praying. And then we help them to go to confession. And then we help them to talk through what's going on. And a lot of times, you know, if they're exposed to something, they're involved in something. But uh, I like the word authority because it contains the word author. Oh, yes. And I like to go back to what you said. In Behind every set of eyes, there is a story. Right, right. Someone who has authority over your life is someone who can help to write your story. Mm -hmm. And when we give authority to people who write bad things into our story, Mm -hmm. then we have to take back our authority and we have to give permission for someone to, to write the right things into our story. Well said. And, and that's what we're doing, subjecting ourselves to the authority of the church, the authority of the gospel, the authority of healing relationships, the authority of spiritual direction, the authority of real friendship in which I expose my heart to somebody who can help to write straight my story. And so Beautiful. we don't have to be afraid of these things. That's the most important thing. Prayer, human relationships, love, trust, and, and and obviously all of that in the sacramental context, this is, uh, now again, we can end up treating the sacraments like superstition, and right. we shouldn't do that. But if we understand the story that's unfolding in the Eucharist, and the story that's communicated to us in, in confession, and the power that that can have in straightening out, healing, yeah, and transforming amen. our personal story, then we're, we're learning to, to fit our little story into the great story of salvation history, the love story of the Father and the Son. Yeah. And, and this is what we can help each other to do. And, and that's going to take, for people who have really gone in, in far directions down these evil paths, I mean, as we know from addictions and, and a lot of other things, it has a powerful draw. Yeah. And especially where there's a lot of empty spaces, it can require a lot of commitment and an ongoing accompaniment. Uh, but Yeah, I'll say it again, an honest, healing. holy confession is worth a hundred exorcisms. I mean, it's it's... It's where the grace of what Christ did on the cross reaches our That's right. real lives to bring healing and deliverance. Confession is a healing sacrament, a sacrament right. of healing. 